Carry here, National Urban League's Small Business Matters, brought to you by Nationwide. Today, we're featuring National Urban League Director Thomas Waters. Let's get to it. Jason Carey, here for Small Business Matters, brought to you by Nationwide and the National Urban League. Speaking of the National Urban League, I'm sitting here with the Jacksonville Urban League Director um, of the Center, Center of Entrepreneurship, correct? Correct. Yes, sir. Mr. Thomas Waters. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem. Uh, we get a chance to just want to talk to you a little bit about um, capital, procuring capital as an entrepreneur. That's a, that's a big thing. That's a big conversation for entrepreneurs um, and, and something that you can talk to us a little bit about. Yes, most certainly. Well, access to capital is, is something that's uh, been a big issue uh, in our community, especially for uh, startups. But it doesn't just, um, it's not just a problem for startups, it's a problem for minority businesses across the board. Um, just to give you a few statistics, uh, small businesses, uh, whether they be minority or non-minority, uh, employ over 95% of the workforce in the United States. But specifically speaking to minority businesses, minority businesses, especially young entrepreneurs, uh, outpaced non-minority entrepreneurs with startups uh, in this country. And they make a significant contribution to the economy. Uh, as it pertains to that, um, during the recession, it was entrepreneurs who helped, who helped to keep the economy flowing, especially in the minority community. But when it comes to access to capital, um, I, I'm sure you've heard the saying that your business credit is your credit. So when, in the case of startups, it is necessary for those individuals who own those businesses to have credit that's acceptable to the lenders. One of the problems is that with that, those criteria being in place, uh, most people don't qualify for loans. So most small businesses end up having to uh, utilize their own capital to start up their businesses or uh, rely upon credit cards, which is not good. Uh, what I've been doing is soliciting uh, different organizations, including the SBA, to see if we can come up with new criteria uh, to allow people to have access to capital instead of having to use the traditional uh, underwriting criteria that the banks have to go by. Um, one of the major objectives of the government is to create jobs. And if uh, we tie job creation into the amount of money that is uh, given in the form of a grant mm -hmm. instead of a loan, and then that way, uh, the grant can be forgiven based on the number of jobs created and for the term of those jobs being created. So it, it further supports the economy. It creates employment opportunities uh, for individuals who uh, otherwise are unskilled in some instances and who are definitely unemployed. And it helps to sustain the community. Uh, in black communities especially, if you were to drive down the street in any black community, um, you may see people standing out on the streets. You may see uh, an active scene uh, with people on the block, as they say. Um, I've often found a pool of entrepreneurs in those people standing on the blocks because most of those people are conducting commerce. And it's not always uh, the types of commerce that would typically come to mind. Mm -hmm. Uh, in developing those individuals into entrepreneurs, uh, they bring to the table skills that many individuals have to go to college to obtain. But what they don't have is the wherewithal to go into a bank and apply for a small business yeah, loan yeah. for startup funds. And so in coming up with creative ways to make access to capital more available to persons in the community is necessary. Okay. You, you, you dropped some statistics on us a little earlier. Whose job is it to tell that story uh, of entrepreneurship and, and its impact? Whose job is that? I think it's everybody's job. Mm -hmm. um, well, first on the government level, the Department of Commerce, they keep statistics. In fact, they hired some professionals to uh, do a study on um, uh, uh, entrepreneurship in the black community. Um, one of the things, though, is that we cannot rely upon those statistics. Uh, it's kind of like the census. Uh, if you're not available for the count, then you won't be counting. So in our community, uh, when they give the jobs report and they say that 
so many people were unemployed, so many jobs were created. Mm -hmm. Those statistics are not very accurate in the black community because typically those people who they are saying are unemployed are people who have given up on the traditional uh, job hunt and, mm -hmm. and, and work um, uh, uh, pursuit. They actually create their own jobs. So you may know of someone who has a lawn care business or uh, someone who's running a hair salon out of their home. Um, there are many, many businesses and many creative businesses, especially businesses that young people are coming up with, uh, that they are actually operating in a non-traditional sense and they're just as legal as any other business and so what I do uh, as the director of the Entrepreneurship Center mm -hmm. for the Jacksonville Urban League is I recruit those individuals and I provide those resources to them to help them not only uh, uh, access capital but also give them the types of education and support that they need in order to hone that business into something that's viable, something that they can take the money, put it in the bank, uh, go buy equipment for their businesses, go buy homes, cars, whatever they need. Just a tip to entrepreneurs seeking access to capital. Just a nugget tip. What would you tell an entrepreneur that's out here seeking uh, capital? Well, the first tip is don't be discouraged. Most uh, individuals who come to me for services have already had the doors closed in their faces. Um, as I stated earlier, lenders have to go by their underwriting guidelines, which are not very flexible for persons who uh, may be just starting out with their first loan or who may have some challenges on their credit. Uh, there are organizations uh, out there who uh, have small business loans available. Uh, they have uh, what they call uh, business startup loans available or micro loans, uh, as uh, a little as 500 to $5,000. Uh, and to some people that can make the difference between them being able to start their businesses and being able to keep their doors open. Uh, but don't be discouraged, that's the first tip. Um, the, the second tip is work on your credit. If you have not pulled your credit report, pull a copy of your credit report, look at those challenges that are there and start working at them. Uh, anything that's negative on your credit report can be repaired over time. And um, there are some agencies that help individuals with uh, their credit reports and, and, and repairing issues that they may have. Okay. Again, I want to say thank you for being here. Enjoy the conversation. A lot of great tips for the entrepreneurs that are watching. Thomas Waters. This is the National Urban League Small Business Matters, brought to you by Nationwide.